124 Shady Brook Circle here just off of Tennessee 46 in Dixon, Tennessee. And here's your neighbor over here. He's got a couple of dogs that were barking when I pulled up. Um, he was out back smoking. Um, do want to point out that you're right off of Tennessee 46 here. You can hear a little bit of traffic noise, actually quite a bit of traffic noise. Um, uh, you're across from the Ford dealership there. This is just a circle of homes, very uh, nice homes, brick construction, uh, just right, right off of Tennessee 46, less than a mile to the interstate and I-40, and then another uh, two miles to I-840. Very convenient drive to the K-Love headquarters where you're gonna be working at in Franklin, about a 42 minute drive uh, from here to K-Love, uh, but direct, very direct, all interstate travel. Um, nice older subdivision, gonna be gorgeous here in the summertime. Uh, got these old mature trees here. Uh, looks like they've got a, a wood burning stove. That's the heater going. We got some heat going this morning. It was 26 this morning, guys. It was 26 this morning here in Middle Tennessee. So got an early cold snap, but it's a gorgeous day. So here is your exterior. We'll go inside in just a moment. You've got an asphalt driveway that's well, well loved, uh, well cracked. It's a, it's a nice circular driveway. Second house into the subdivision on the left. That's the, uh, the next street behind. So the circle is gonna go down this way and circle around to the right. And so just a few homes here. You're close to everything, close to shopping, um, close to medical care. Like I said, close to the highway. It's just, it's, it's not bad. I mean, the road noise is, is a thing if you can handle that. Um, it's not horrific road noise. It's just going to be there all the time. If you come outside, you're going to hear cars and you're going to hear traffic and stuff. And it's just, you know, if you can hang with that and deal with that, you're going to be good to go. So it looks like we have an older house here. Um, got a nice newer fence. Uh, one of the homeowners is a nice new truck from Walker Chevy, which is where I bought my Chevy. Uh, chimney um, has some patching up there over on it. Um, yeah. Not a bad house. You got the lower level there. Uh, age of the roof might be an issue. We'll check into that. And of course, uh, as I tour homes, we also look at the exterior and the foundation and stuff like that. It's a nice level lot. Um, yeah. The windows are going to be an issue as well. They're older, original windows, it looks like. So I have to go back and look at the date of this home some more. It's a nice house, though. Very, very, very nice. Um, I love the brick, of course. I mean, we have brick construction on our home. Can't go wrong with brick. It's just solid, you know? You have this walkway going up the front here. Not seeing any step or foundation cracks. Do see some sagging of, um, well, not that, it's not sagging. That's a cable up there. It's been painted partially white. Um, need, need power washing here for sure on the exterior. Um, some great landscaping you can do. Make it your own. Um, some touch-up work. They repainted the shutters. Uh, not recently. I'm not seeing any sag uh, uh, in any of the flashing or anything right now. So that's great. In a house this age, I would expect to maybe see some of that, but I'm not. The patio on the front looks great. Potential with this house. I like it. Um, yeah, I like it. A lot of attention with this house. You can make that front porch your own. You got a little bird's nest up there in that corner. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else on the exterior. It's a large, large lot, which I know yeah, is important to you guys. It's already fenced. Get some chickens. Let's go. Let's go, right? Come on. I mean, your next, next door neighbor is way over there. Look at that open area of that lot back there. Isn't that great? Your next door neighbor's got a nice... Uh, Nice back porch area that they've uh, constructed. It's a newer sunroom they've done. Across the street, you got a little rancher. It's a wide, wide, wide lot. Man, kids playing here. I love it. I love it. Got a tire swing back there. We'll see one of those in a minute. It's cool. All right. Mature trees. Let's go inside, take a look, see. Lot to love here. That tree is huge, I love it. 
I see no foundation issues. No chimney issues. Uh, this, uh, there's some missing brick up there. It's just age. Uh, yeah, definitely some missing brick up there or some, uh, some brick that has moved. Definitely that will... Yeah, I do see some chimney issues up top there, guys. I do see some. But that's fixable. If you guys are in love with this place, I mean, I understand. Solid construction. Ah, here we go. Oh, we got a little kitty. Got a little kitty. Hey there. Hey there. How you doing? I want to keep you company for a minute. So they've done some updating here. Uh, put some shiplap in here, some DIY work. Um, not bad. Got a little uh, gapping in the boards. Um, And some paint and some DIY work. You can see. Um, I also think they spray painted this. Yeah, I do. Uh, just based on that spill there. Maybe use one of those, uh, yep, Weber Power Painters and spray painted it. That's, that, yeah. All right. Nice, Lori. Nice railing. Good stuff. Lovely couple. The, the, the kitty is very friendly and I'm down with that. Well, should we go downstairs first? Okay, let's do it. This is low, you'll have to watch your head on that, but you get used to it, right? Oh yeah, I'm six feet two and I got about five or six inches above my head uh, before I hit this ceiling here, this top, this lower level. There's your garage, two car, no vehicles in there. We've got a uh, workbench area, the mower. Back here, you're gonna have your HVAC and your older, very older water heater. Can't help that, go Irish, you know? Sorry guys, I'm not a Notre Dame fan growing up in Penn State territory. Yeah, typical um, two car garage. But they're not using it. They've got ample parking outside. So, I mean, if you guys wanted to convert this into something, you could for sure. Got some warping or some water damage there. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be a leak. At some point, they had something going on there. That's it's just this old plywood, this shiplap stuff. And over here, too. Be curious to find out what that was about. Or it could just be heat, age, not 100%. We've got the laundry room down here with a toilet in it and a sink. Military person here, thank you for serving. I'm military. We've got a shower in here as well. Okay. Good. You get that hardwood flooring. A sink needs updating. It's nice of them to burn a candle for us. I love that. We've got the cat box there. <laughs> They've done what they can with this. The carpeting is dirty in here. Uh, it's old Berber. They've got a little working office in here. Oh, well, we got an OSU grad and Notre Dame grad joining forces. So I don't know how that happened. So dual offices here. A microphone for some podcasting, which is kind of what I need to get going too, guys. All right, so this is downstairs, one of the rooms. Could be a bedroom or an office. They got a little wine cellar things set up here. I love a little closet space here. Put some bottles of wine in there. Cool, cool, very cool, cool, cool. And then you got your you know, bar area here. Nice and yeah, nice, They're very nice. Oh, we got some good selections. We got the Eagle Rare. We got the Willet Smoke Wagon, Colonel Taylor. Yep, this guy knows what he's talking about a little bit. I'm a fan of that. For sure. Definitely a very nice bourbon collection. I'm actually going to take a picture of that. Nice. Yeah, country living out here. 
older house. We have a wood burning stove down here. How you doing? How you doing okay? Just nice. I like this bar top. Look at that, man. I love that bar top. I need that for my house. Yep. I need that bar top for my house. Okay. And you got the old doors going outside with that patio. Starting Christmas early here. Well, we're holding out. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're holding out to Thanksgiving to um, get the tree up and all that. We're still, we're still doing fall. As long as we can, we're still doing fall. A lot of folks in our neighborhood are not. Got a newer HVAC unit there, York. That's good. That's been updated. Excellent. All right. This is an old um, sliding glass door. It's going to need some... Uh, TLC. I got it shut. There, praise Jesus. Righty. wood. I like the wood. Steps are sweet. All right. Tree went out. Good space for you guys and your kiddos. My daughter actually lives about uh, 10 minutes from here in Charlotte, Tennessee, which is just up the road on Tennessee 46 in Dixon. Nice house. Well loved. Good stuff. Homey. Feels homey. But over time, you guys can update some stuff here. There's enough room. I mean, you got a large lot. You know, good stuff. Good stuff for sure. Feels like home. And you got two separate areas, as we, we saw, two separate living areas. No red flags yet, yet. I mean, there's a little patch spot right there. We've got that. Uh, possible area downstairs where that plywood is warped. These cabinets need some updating. There's some paint peeling on some of them. Um, and some caulking needs to be done. They're pulling away. That's minor details. Kitchen's nice. You got a good sink. Um, good microwave. We've got um, paneling here or shiplap that's been painted over. All this gray is just painted over. Cool, HVAC's working well. It's a coat closet. So, there you go. There's no pantry that I can see. You do have storage on both sides of the kitchen. That's your pantry right there. All right. All right. And you got a full bath right here. Been updated, very nice, very nice. Uh, I like the consistency of the uh, brown flooring throughout. Busy tub, kiddo toys. You guys have seen the pictures. That's why we're here. Oops. Come on, Gimbal. Come back. There you go. There's bedroom four, three being used as a guest bedroom. Masters right here. Your kiddos will be right there by you or um, you can put them downstairs if you want. Or one of them downstairs or not. And 
your master bath is just a toilet. And you do have a shower here though. That's good. They lit some candles. All right, guys, you got the double closets there. I'm not walking, but you know, plenty of space. Uh, your storage, his and hers. It's not a huge master. You know, as far as masters go. Linen closet there. And kiddos rooms. Kiddo, so to speak. Nicely appointed, good flooring. Got the barn doors right here. Going to this kiddo's closet. Got a lot to work with here, guys. A lot to work with here. Things we talked about gonna be the windows, the chimney, and the possible history of leaks. All right.